Here we go. Time is at 1 a.m., baby. 1 a.m. in the morning. Start this video at 1. She really likes fire. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting fire. <laughs> Why do you have to go climbing houses? <laughs> That's kind of like. Climbing on other people's roofs, huh? Listen carefully now. But you'll have to tell this when I'm gone. This shit is gone. In the beginning, all life came from all mother. People, machines, and beasts. Interesting. All were Interesting. her children. I won't they let the Carja Faber stop me from enjoying the festival. What harm can they do now? But some. First? Oh, what are shit. you doing? Here, here we go. Careful. It's Pretend your boy. Like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks in some of these faces when you this win. This dope. And if you need any last minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. Shit, I just sold all my shit. No, now you have money to buy the supplies. So, Mother's heart. I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, a man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you. If you give me a discount. <laughs> you can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. I'll give you my best prices, I promise. See? He got shards. You don't have a sling, do you? So if I... <laughs> I have that, right? No, you have the, the satchel shows you what you have. Um, you have a trip caster. But you don't have, like, a war bow or a sharp shot bow or different bows. Cool. See, so he got he got outfits, too. Similar to what's his name, so yeah, same outfits. Same. Wire blaze, bundles, you can buy. Shock trap, ammos. Yeah, treasure box. I can make that shit. Precision arrow. This is the, they just got better stats. Hundred and fifty metal shards. Oh, cool! So that's a rope, but it's not electric. What that one? The, no, there's the rope caster and the trip caster. Oh, right. Oh, the trip caster has like, electricity, right? And this one just like... There's like rope. Like they'll just fall over. They won't take damage. This stuff I... What is this? Just like a rock thrower? I don't know. It says the slow firing sling lobs elemental bombs with a large area of effect. I don't have any elemental bombs yet. Well, I think it's just part of the ammo. No? Sword. Oh, play a movie. I don't get it. It like electrocutes them. Right? Low damage oh yeah, it does elemental. have yes, electricity. Sharp shoot bow. Just has better damage for accuracy type thing. Do the sling, I wanna see what the sling looks like. Handling is 20, 60 damage, and defense is 30, zero defense, it looks like that has a lot of damage. And this, yeah, let's see what this is. This is that one I have, oh. Oh, it ropes them. So they can't 
I wonder if you can do that with the trip caster though too. Watch, shoot him with watch, it. yeah. Why didn't we think you just shoot him with it? No. Use a little, yeah. It's used like differently. Mm. Dang, that's dope. Yeah, I like. I want to see the sling though. No, not that one. I want to see the big one. This one. Yeah. Cool. Some sort of smoke shit. Looks like snow. I didn't tell you the description too. Snow probably don't know, but I'll probably put a large area of effect. Can Best be to hard. use on inflict elemental states on targets. Make them vulnerable. They can all be modified. Yeah. Should I get one? It's up to you. I mean, I have a chip caster. The rope caster is cool, but I don't really need it. The war, ro the war bow, I don't really need. This one is just like fair damage, right? What's mine? I wish I could. It says slow firing, but highly accurate. Let's Use see. for long range. Let's see what mine is. Oh, that's my staff. I wish I could get a new staff actually. So it's 80 handling, 15 damage, 25 defense. So not and you lot. have modification slots that you haven't done yet. Yeah. But if I get a new... You can do modifications here with him. I can? Or you can at least buy some. They were there. Where? I don't know. I just saw it. It was weird. It was like over or something. No, oh, that was sell. There, right there. Yeah, this is sell my modification. Oh, sell. Oh, okay. Always happy to take your shards. I mean, like the, um, oops, like the, how do I go to my inventory? Like if I wanted to do modifications. Plus damage, plus fire. You get to choose a modification and then it places it on a weapon. Oh. Like this would be the best. No. We were there at some yeah. point. Oh, crap. Crafting. So. Yeah, it doesn't up it that much. Well, it tells you plus six, plus nine. Yeah, I'm nine. looking at that over there. Whereas if I get. A oh, new weapon from him it might be. Oh shit! Why did I do that? All right, let's do this. You know what I mean? Like if I get a better weapon. Yeah, I, I get it. I get what you're saying. Since I might be fighting soon, I don't know. So 20 healing, 60 damage. I mean, that's pretty cool. Slow fire. But it's yeah. It's, fire, it's got yeah. like you know. Different. Slow damage. Yeah. I mean, I'll probably get a new bow eventually, right? It's like one of those. You don't know. Yeah, just play. Game. Just play it out. Should I get the what something? Don't buy anything. Just, pl just right, play. All right then, time to go. Good luck tomorrow, Aloy. I won't let the Tundra faceless stop me from enjoying this. What harm can they do now? Yeah, that was a little crazy. Ooh, In a this. moment, we shall bless the proving. That lady was heated. Mm -hmm. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with a card job. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. <coughs> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by the slavers. hand of yeah. Sand King yeah. of Killers our and slavers. Slavers. Hey, hey, Luminance hold your fruit, Nor, oh. Nor if faithful. Hold your fruit. Now I'm Azaram, not Karja. So I'll put it to you straight. The 13th John King was a murderous bum. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister would take it. I hated the card. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. now who killed him? The 14th. 
not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah, message that this poor funny. priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th king. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Hey, thank you. <clears throat> An enunciation of gratitude written by the hand of Sun King Avan, 14th luminous of the Radiant Line. It's not that tight of a screen. We should yeah. always conjure our sights when we do That's sick. No, the Karja stand with you. Unknown device detected. Who is supposed to present with the perfect dictate on the sign? Oh, mother, give me strength. As those you have nurtured take their places among your It's for the goddess to judge the Karja, not me. We join the path should be left in the path. That they will stand He's wearing a focus, just like mine. I am grateful the Karja for your audience. To, to be taken into oh, your embrace. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? Anora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places. Forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, oh, yeah. I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? Apologies. Ah. Uh, malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey. You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now, he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense. It looks great on you. Huh. What else do you know about Olin? Well, is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. I thought your friend was going to go down in a hail of fruit, but... You really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. But Nora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? I wanted to ask you something else. Yeah, if you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. I never heard anything about Red Raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? <laughs> were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. Didn't work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. Your sister was taken captive and sacrificed. Terrible. <laughs> Captive, yes. Sacrificed, no. It takes more than a few Karja to finish Ursa. She got away, and now she's my captain. Captain of the entire Vanguard. Favored by the Sun King himself. How did she survive? Well, that's a story, all right, but it takes a while to tell. 
maybe another time over a drink or three. Or just come to Meridian and meet her yourself. I think you'd like each other. You're both rather uh, direct. So what happened? How did it all end? The Mad King's own son united Karja rebels with Asaram freebooters. And together we did the impossible, took back Meridian and killed the crazy old king. So now the sun sits on the throne and it's a big improvement. Under Avad, there's no more sacrifices, no more slavery. People from all tribes are welcome in Meridian now, even Nora exiles. You really should come visit. Who are the Asaram? Well, that's my tribe, far to the northwest. We're good at three things, arguing, working steel, and brewing. And freebooters, what are those? I guess you could say we were mercenaries, you know, warriors for pay. Except a lot more loyal than that makes us sound. Avad couldn't have taken down his father without our metal and muscle. And now, some of us serve proudly as his personal vanguard. You said the machines have been getting more dangerous every year. Yeah. I don't have to tell you that, right? First I've heard of it. Oh, I'm sorry. I just assumed everyone knew. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard to take them down, but not dangerous, so long as you were smart enough to jump out of the way. But then the derangement starts up and everything changes. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at him. There's a lot of storytelling. A few more years pass and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. He's just talking about enough, the entirely wars new and kinds of machines start showing up. And Bigger, how the machines are getting meaner, stronger. And heavily armed. Like, like the sawtooth. Yeah, ten years ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse comes along. Believe me. So, so what's going to happen? Yeah, no one knows. And the machines, well, they aren't telling. Well, the machines are getting stronger. Yeah. Tell me about the derangement again. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard, but then the a few this, more sorry. years, if that wasn't bad. Like the sawtooth. Yeah, t So what's me? Yeah, no one knows. It didn't turn gray. If the Karja have such a cruel history, how did you end up serving them? The last king and his men were butchers. But the new king wants peace. There's nothing cruel about that. Besides, the Karja don't just fight, they build. Or take Meridian. Next to it, Everything else is just a bunch of sticks and stones. Oh. Just how big is Meridian? What's it like? Where do I even start? My tribesmen are masters of the forge, the best tinkers in the world. But when it comes to building, the Karja have us beat. The city soars over a canyon with more bridges than the Nora have roads and buildings tall as mountains. And across the valley stands the spire. Like a blade thrust into the sky, reflecting the sun. You really owe it yourself to see it. So consider that a challenge. Or an invitation. Back. I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. <laughs> nice armor. Tell me about Olin again. When he's not scrounging, he's scrounging. I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Now let me introduce you. Ring locked, impact protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The Vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life takers and machine breakers to a one. I might even give a Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. Oh, dang. I should make my way to the blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but it's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. 
I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and... Well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look Yo, me up. I'll show you around, make there, introductions. Man. He's making a whole moves. new life. If you, you know, kind of reminds me of myself anyway, a little bit. You know, haircut and everything. Too, so <laughs> how I do. See you around, maybe? Or Seamus. Of course Frost is going to win. Just look at him. Dang, man. We've been playing this shit for 20 minutes already. Whew. Just talking. Wait, hold on. Let me let me stop this video here, man. It's too much.